Hey guys, what's up? Connor here from TPGS, and if you remember correctly, our last tutorial we talked about how to make a registration form. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to make a login form. Um, now, if you haven't watched the last tutorial and you haven't built a register form, go ahead and watch that, and we go through all the information that we have here on how to build one. So we're going to go right ahead and create our register. Uh, sorry, our login form. Through that, we're going to create a new PHP folder, a new PHP file rather. And we're just going to copy and paste everything that's in here. And then we can go ahead and take some of this out. So we can change this to login. Change this to login. Uh, we can keep those in. That's fine. Get rid of this validation, the everything else. And then all we need to do now is change our form. So we go from login, uh, sorry, from register to login. Email. We can leave in there, but we don't need the confirmation. And we can take out that end of the table. And the same with password. We don't need the confirmation. So if we save this as login.php and go to login.php, you can see we now have our login form. <clears throat> and we can go in and we can type in our email and password. And we need to change the button from register to login as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And our dates to login nicely. Okay, now what we need to do is get rid of this validation. In our if is set dollar underscore post submit, we can delete the email to variable and the password variable. And what we can do now is at the start of our PHP, if we put session underscore start, this is going to start the sessions for our PHP files. And we're going to use that a little bit later on to check whether the user's already logged in. So first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to create a MySQL query. And we're going to call this SQL. I'm going to say MySQL underscore query select all from users were email space equals space dollar email which is the variable we created in the registration form or for those of you who didn't watch it basically all we said here was create an email variable with the escaped posted email that the user typed in so were emails equal email and password is password and what we're also going to do now is say dollar pass space equal space md5 dollar pass which generates the md5 sum and then this password should equal the one in our database and now what we're going to do with an if statement and we're going to say if my sql underscore num underscore rows sql and basically what that does is it counts the number of rows that um, are created from this query. So for example if there were two people um, that had the same email address it would generate two rows. So it's going to count the rows and if that count is greater than zero we're going to say session email space equals space um, email and then echo logged in else echo error username oops oh password not correct okay and that is the basic of our logic of our login form so I just refresh the page here and then type my email as two and the password is one. It's going to give me an error of the username and password not correct. I type one and one. It's going to say that I've logged in. Okay, so now if I view this page again, however, it generates another email, uh, another logging form, but the session here of email has already been created so what we can do is in our if statement we can say if 
dollar underscore session email basically does it exist and what we can say is echo you are all ready logged in and then exit the strip so that it doesn't generate this form here okay so now when we refresh the page hopefully yep it's going to tell me i'm already logged in and now when we're here i think we can create a lot out form as well so we just open up a new uh, php page do session underscore start and then just do session underscore destroy and then we're going to say header location login.php and what that's going to do is if i save this as log out basically it's going to create the session start which we did in the login form which is basically going to say we're using the sessions it's then going to destroy any session that we have available and redirect us to the login page at which point we should then be given the login form so here i'm going to generate an antitad And that's basically just saying you're already logged in. Why not log out? So we'll log out. And we get a little error there, which is basically an um, email. So what we can do is at the start of our, just under our session start, we can set our error reporting to zero. And the reason why that comes up is because it needs to check there's an email available, which is the session. And we can just get rid of that. Say logged in. You are logged in, logged out. Okay, so that is basically the login form. On the next tutorial, we're going to look at some um, validation on the registration form, and we're also going to look at more secure password protection using the SALT um, database that we created in the first tutorial we've created a salt table and we're going to use that and show you how it can be used and the reasons why you should use it especially when you're collecting users information on a live site so stick around for that but the next tutorial is going to be validation within the login form and validation mainly within the registration form